Welcome to ECU Libraries. My name is Katie Cavanaugh-Webb and I'm a librarian here at Joyner Library. This video will show you some basics for searching articles in the library sciences field. To begin, we're going to start at the Joyner Library homepage. From here, you'll click on the link underneath the OneSearch box that says Database List. Now, this web page may change in appearance, but the basic parts will be the same. You can see that there's a search box to look for a known database, or if you have a generalized idea what the database name is, you can search here in the alphabetical listing. Or if you're not really sure what databases there are for your field, you can click by subject. There are tabs across the top. Library Sciences is found under Social Sciences and Education right here on the right hand side. So if we click into Library Sciences, you can see that there are a few databases that may help you choose books when you're purchasing them for your library. There's also ones that are about statistical information. But since we're doing some research for a paper, we're going to look at the database Library and Information Science Abstracts, or LISA. If you click on that, it will take you to the database. This is the main search page. Let's say you're going to look for a few journal articles on the topic of Google Analytics and tracking uses of tutorials in your library. Your topic is probably going to be different, so you can put your search into the box here as you search with me. But I'm going to type Google Analytics as my first search term. And when I do a search for Google Analytics, we will find that there are 75 results here in the screen. Once we're here, we're going to look through and see that, that most of them have to do with just general websites. And that might be good for some things, but we're really looking for something about tutorials. So if we add the word and and put tutorial after that, that's going to narrow down those 75 results to just the five that have to do with tutorials. You can further limit on the side here for other searches. This one's pretty small here. But you can also uh, limit by what kinds of information you're seeing. Here, there's only scholarly journals, so we'll, that's all we're seeing. And then if you wanted to see things that were more recent in time, um, you may want to do that as well. So looking through these here in this manageable list of Google Analytics and Tutorial, we can see if any of them are a good fit. If I hover over here on the preview, that will show an abstract. The abstract is just a short summary telling you what the article is about. It was written by the author. So you can hover over these to see how long the article is, and you can also read a very small summary of what that's going to be about. If I would like to read one of these articles, I can click on the Find It button here to have a new page open, and it will show this article in another database where it is listed. LISA is an abstracts database, so much of it is not going to be in full text in the database. You will want to click Find It to see if we have it. If we do not have the article you're looking for, we can still get that for you through Interlibrary Loan. Now that we are done reading this article, you may want to actually save your research from this search screen before you move on. That way you don't have to come back into LISA over and over again and do this search again. To save the searches that you've done, you can click on these three articles, which are the ones that are really good for this paper. You can click over here at the top on the email tab. This opens up a new window, and I can include a citation here. I'm going to enter my own email address and my name, and then I can send it. I also like to add the search terms that I use to find this article. And that way, if I ever need to go back and search more, I can see what I already have searched. I'll click Continue, and then I get a confirmation that my email has sent. Make sure you check the citations before you turn those in to your professor, because the citations can sometimes come out incorrectly. You now have the resources you need for your paper. If you need additional assistance, please contact Joiner Library because we offer research assistance at the desk on our first floor and if you're a distance education student via phone, chat, and email. 
We also can schedule a 30 minute book a librarian session to help you. And we do those over Skype and Google Hangouts as well if you don't come into the library. If you have questions, please ask a librarian.